y a office, office of the government. And uh, well, that's the title. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yes, this is my father. Uh, see which states the temperature inside the cylinder. Also here we have an alarm which goes off if the, if the fan does not cool the system fast enough to achieve the temperature, the, fan, the alarm is going to sound so that the farmer will come and look for an alternate, like less work to the farmer because he will be able to check the cylinder and know what's going on. And like and comp so the optimum temperature for silage is 32.2 degrees. So we have programmed this temperature control in a way that when the silage goes above 32 degrees, the temp the temp the fan is going to automatically go on to cool it. Them at the same time. Yes, yes. Using for, the for now we are compacting only this, but we are finding a way that we can apply only at one point so that it compresses all of them. But since this is just a model for the science fair, we, we made one. Mm -hmm. Now you know the silage bags that are being used nowadays. Mm. You fit a silage bag here so that there is no air. No air at all. Yeah. But we're trying to maximize the quality of the silage. So even the slightest thing, we don't want it affecting the silage. Any, any, uh, any, any air. air. So already there's a silage bag waiting here. To avoid oxidation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's already a silage bag waiting. Mm -hmm. So you just remove this. No, this is already removed. So you put the silage bag. Then you just push the piston. You push the piston, the silage is pushed into the silage bag, you close it and you store it for many years, uh, however long you want it. The ICT and uh, whatever will, be, will still be useful in this because you will perhaps connect this one into a computer system. More, more to me, is I see this as a mechanical innovation, not an uh, electronic solution to some of the challenges that we have. For now, most of the people are still thinking. So when the temperature goes higher, the fan is going to go on so that it can cool the system to achieve the parameters of this press two for this. So we'll program it in a way that for temperature, in, if this, we're also going to build a shower over this to, to cool this system. So that if it's very important. So what we are doing here is something that is aiming at achieving even the millennial goals. Yes, that is our project. So you cut the maze and everything and put it inside there? Mm. Yes. And then? Then mm. we have a piston here for even compaction of the silage to increase the surface area for fermentation. So we came up with the Mailel Automated Silo, which is aimed at efficient production of silage. Why, sh why should we have efficient production of silage? This is because we'd like to enhance the food security in Kenya. We'd also like to lessen the labor used to make silage because it's a very manual process, which many people are not familiar with to start with. Also, we'd like to uh, increase the production of animal products to feed the nation. And we'd also like to reduce the costs of making silage. We came up with this idea because both of us have similar experiences in the farm, especially to do with silage making where compression is by tractors or by feet. And we also realize that it's very laborious and many people are hired to do that work, which is costly to the farmer. So we sat down one time last year and we were talking about this. And then we realized that there were so many similarities. Then this year when we had those science fair, we brainstormed and came up with the idea of the male automated silo. Even in times of famine, we can be able to store the silage to feed our animals. And one of the, one of the problems we're facing here in Baringo especially is when it's dry, many animals are dying. But when we have silage available to the animal, we can be able to feed them even times of drought, which also benefits us because when we utilize their products, we also gain. Moreover, and I, I can see the future is bright for the farmers where we turn together and I know this is going to take a good toll on the farmers because this will help them, um, especially those people in the arid areas. Yeah. And also, um, as me, um, uh, my teacher said, Mr. Sige, this way um, it doesn't require a lot of space. So it's quite economical and it's not bulky. Yes, this will be good. Um, so this machine works, um, it has a piston that works under the principle of transmission of pressure from our physics. And uh, it is a cylinder that is made of stainless steel because stainless steel does not rust and 
it has a higher heat retention capacity which is required for silage making um, also it has devices that monitor the temperature and it is able to st uh, stabilize the temperature yeah, using the fan and if the fan is uh, does not work effectively it has an alarm that sounds so that the farmer can come and cool the system with other alternative methods How is it? and uh, the idea of agriculture and uh, helping the country acquire food security is very important to everybody so as a school if we can make some little contribution uh, towards the same we feel proud about it uh, if we could get uh, some sponsorship to have this project actualized so that farmers can uh, be helped by automating the way they do their silages we will be uh, very happy to have contributed towards making Kenya a good place by the way of helping people get faster food uh, which has been a big problem in this country. Uh, the project actually is to solve the issues of agriculture which are there, the issues of silage making. So we analyzed and we saw there is a method that it has not been exploited. So we did the experiment, we conducted the experiment here in school Perhaps also we were assisted by the school administration and we came up with quality silage. We have sent the silage so that it can be tested and we will see the quality of silage together with the other one that has been made using the polytins. This one will be a good quality. So we decided to come up with this because it is environmental friendly. It will also reduce the greenhouse gases that we are experiencing lately in the country and in the whole world.